Tyrannosaurids were a family of theropod dinosaurs. Some of the most well-known Tyrannosaurids include that of Tyrannosaurus rex, Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus and Nanotyrannus. However, researchers have now come forward and said that a new species of Tyrannosaur has been discovered in Canada. This species has been called Thanatotheres degratum, or as it's also known, the Reaper of Death. This dinosaur would have been one of the top predators during its time. Paleontologists have said the dinosaur was discovered by a farmer who was hiking near Alberta. One of the researchers who worked on examining the dinosaur said the following. The jawbone was an absolute stunning find. We knew it was special because it looked different. Interestingly, scientists working at the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology have said it's the oldest discovery in Canada, with the museum announcing the following. We are thrilled to announce the first new species of Tyrannosaur to be discovered in Canada in 50 years. This discovery is significant because it fills in a gap in our understanding of Tyrannosaur evolution. This Tyrannosaur wouldn't have been as large as T-Rex, and estimations have placed this theropod as standing around 8 feet in height. The teeth from this predator reach between 7 and 9 centimetres, or 2 to 3 inches. The Reaper of Death is said to have a skull that can be easily distinguished from other Tyrannosaurs. This is because it has vertical ridges that run up the length of the upper jaw. As of right now, more research is being carried out on the specimen. In recent years, researchers have found new species of dinosaurs that have given them a better understanding of life in the prehistoric world. These discoveries have helped us to better understand how these creatures lived and how they evolved. It was also announced that Canada has given us the heaviest Tyrannosaurus rex specimen. This Tyrannosaurus rex was first discovered by paleontologists in Canada in 1991, and the dinosaur was nicknamed Scotty by the paleontologists as the only drink available to celebrate the discovery of the Tyrannosaurus rex was a bottle of scotch, and since then the name stuck. However, it took over a decade before paleontologists could painstakingly extract 65% of the remains of Scotty, officially known as RSM P2523.8, from the hard sandstone that covered it which was headed by the University of Alberta's Scott Pearsons, a researcher in the Department of Biological Sciences. The discovery was issued in the Anatomical Record Journal. Prehistoric Canada was home to Scotty over 60 million years ago, where this apex predator would have roamed and reached a massive weight of almost 20,000 pounds, which in comparison is a little bit over twice the weight of an average male African bush elephant. This makes it the biggest Tyrannosaurus rex ever found. Also from the research carried out on the remains of Scotty, Paleontologists found out the dinosaur passed away at around the age of 30, which is older than the normal life expectancy of a Tyrannosaur. Signs of a broken rib broke in tailbones, and an infection in its jaw goes to show that Scotty the Tyrannosaurus rex did not have the best life. It most likely got into many battles during its life, something it would have wanted to avoid, as an injury to such a large creature would have been disastrous. So what do you make of this new Tyrannosaur species? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.